There's some cooks around here.
By some mysterious alchemy, we were allowed to come back today. Is that a problem you think? Not well, he's first of all, he wants us to act like we were we're living in our own time period. And wow. this particular year is about eight. The year that we have represented today is about 1818. Okay. Just beat the bloody British in the War of 1812. Yes. Who are you, and uh, what brings you here this morning? Uh, Thank you, Jane. I'm James Latter of Latter Place. I'm a traveling merchant and a farmer. We came today to this church because we love this church. And my wife has been very supportive in all matters of the church. We've raised our children in this faith. Right, Jane? Yes, yes, Jane, James. Uh, I did allow James to go first because it's customary for women to take a secondary role, of course, as you probably know. Uh, we come to church on Sunday with our cold dinner to worship God in the true Presbyterian fashion. And it's an important part of our family life. Not only do we come here for the worship, but between the sermons we have a chance to sit together with our neighbors and share a cold meal. And our children, our daughters Betsy, Polly, Nancy, and our little boy Ezekiel have an opportunity to know the other young people here in the community. In fact, our Betsy is betrothed to Ben Davidson, whose family worships here too. And uh, uh, they've known each other from t the time that they were little ones growing up here at the Hopewell Church. Uh, it's a very important part of our life. We'll go back down to our home this evening after the second sermon and say our evening prayers and have a, a very quiet evening because that's what this day is for. A good book speaks about the merits of a good and true woman. I can certainly say this about my wife, Jane, for she does nothing but work. She has to manage 30 slaves. I think we have 30 now, do we not, Jane? And as I said, I'm often away from home, and the lad, Ezekiel, is not a strong boy. We seem to perceive him as being somewhat weak. It troubles us very much. We don't have a resident doctor in the community. So therefore, Jane, with her home remedies, we do the best we can, but it is a great burden and sorrow to us, and we, we're rather worried about that. The girls seem to thrive beautifully, and are courting uh, quite nicely, my dear, don't you think? Yes, we're very proud of our daughters. Let's step out of character now. Yeah. Okay. And, and why uh, are you all, what brings you here today as Ann Gallagher, and I'm sorry? Clarence Kuster. Clarence Kuster. Okay. What brings you here today in character? What? what well, I am a, a strict volunteer. I was born in Charlotte. My father was born in Charlotte and I always grew up with a strong sense of community. And uh, when Ladder Place was, Ladder Corporation was started, I made myself available and have always been here ever since. And then a couple of years ago, two and a half years ago, Mrs. Gallagher, Ann Gallagher, came to us and she's been the best thing that ever happened to her. She's pure professional. A dedicated, charming lady. People don't like Ann Gallagher. They're in love with her. And she's on, she's staff. I'm volunteer. And I'd be a volunteer 
If Anne tells me to jump, I only have to say how high. Yeah. I say jump into your costume <laughs> and get to the Hopewell Church on Sunday, the 27th of uh, September. Because even though I'm a professional curator at Lauda Place, I feel very much involved with the Lauda family. And when um, Reverend Smythe told me that this event was going to be held today, I knew the Lauda family had to be here the whole family to come back to this church that was an important part of their lives in costume um, to reenact the, the attendance of the Latta family. I, it was important to me personally with my involvement at Latta Place and I felt it was important to remember the Latta family on this occasion at the church. There are other people other than myself. I don't mean to imply that I'm the only uh, non-professional. The Latta Place is greatly indebted to Mrs. Oh. Is it 2 o'clock? No, 20. Okay, uh, I've got to go give tours at 2 o'clock. I better hurry up. And... Ah. That was supposed to happen at 2. I'm going to have schedule. Schedule. Yeah. Just one more question, really, and, and you can um, refer to both here, but the costumes are they're just wonderful. Is this what <laughs> folks would have been wearing? Is this? Uh, this costume I have just recently made from uh, an authentic early 19th century um, pattern and I chose to make it in black because a lady of middle age as I am would have been mourning almost constantly either mourning the death of her, a child of her own uh, or a sister or a brother or her parents uh, a grandchild there was always a reason for mourning and uh, so that's why I chose this particular color for today. Well, mine has been put together, as we say, with loving hands at home. The coat came from the Mint Museum Theater Guild, which formed the Mint Museum Theater Guild. And the hat belongs to one of the items that belongs to our latter place. Everything else was just put together at home. We hope to do a little more profession by ourselves in the future with, with general costuming, do we not? Yeah, this is a proper costume for our time period for a lady of my age. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> there was plenty there, I think. I said if we just had one dish of that tomorrow, wouldn't it be good? <laughs> Miss Puckett, how long have you been a member here? Well, I guess since, uh, well, ever how long it's been. No, I was a member up at Gilead for just a little while, and then I came here, I would say since about, uh, uh, I guess I joined when I was about 10 years old, and ever since about that time, I was out here maybe 10 years old. Uh, Something about like that. You must know a lot about this old church. I love this old church. I used to know every man, woman, and child, but now, of course, it's it's growing so fast. I can't remember all of them, but I I do. I know most everybody's face, whether I can remember the name or not, and uh, I I enjoy it, and I love the Sunday school just as much as I do church services, and so we have a. Can you tell me a little bit about Hopewell's history? Well, now listen. Would you like to have one of Hopewell's histories? We oh, you got one. Well, you got okay, it. But I need you to tell me. See, I I need you to tell me because somehow it it, it works better than if I were to read. The book. Well, uh, well. Um, I mean, just you know the stuff you know quickly. Well, when the way when I first came, we, we didn't have anything but the sanctuary. And we had a, a Sunday school class in each corner, you know, thing. And uh, there was a, a little old lady, she was Miss Ava Parks. I don't think she'd weigh 100 pounds. And she could play a little organ that we had, about, about like that, you know. And we sang, man, and we thought that was pretty singing. <laughs> we had, and anyway, we, we enjoyed that very much then with her. And of course, she's been gone now a long time. And then we were 
pushed up a class, you know. But I think about all that I ever had is gone now. But anyway, it was nice. It, it was good. And then, then you'd come on that. Now I'm going, I'm going to talk about my parents instead of me. Is that all right? Sure. Talk about whatever you know about this church. All right. My, of course, my granddaddy was a elder here, and then my daddy was an elder here, and then my husband was an elder here, and then my son was an elder here. So about run out now. Let's make let's wait and make Michael. <laughs> <laughs> You think you think he might fit in there? He makes a good deacon. He, he does. He makes he makes a good deacon. But uh, I ain't saying nothing about anything else. <laughs> um. So your grand your grandparents were members here. Yeah. Yeah. When when was that about? Oh, I don't know when when that was. But that's right at the corner of the church, right on the other side. And uh, I got a lot of. People look out, Mac. <laughs> they are buried here, and their their graves are right at the edge of the uh, of the walkway, right there. Um, has it changed much since you? Oh yes, it's changed a whole lot. It, it's well, it's just not near the same, but it's the same principle. Mac, don't leave. <laughs> He's scared I'm going to do something to him. <laughs> Is it, I mean, it changed, I guess, better or worse, or, or can you say? Oh, now, I don't, I, that, that spiritually, now, that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, we act very different, but I don't say it's changed much spiritually. Now, you know, we used to be a lot more conservative than we are now, and now there's so much we... I play baseball on Sunday, <laughs> and that used to be a crime. So, so anyway, it has changed, but not. It, it's not hurting from it. I don't think. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, you say when you got here, it was just the sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of this was built up after that. Yeah. Can yeah. you remember when it happened? Well, I don't remember dates, but we made that fellowship hall there. Next is what we made. And then we, uh, I guess, built this church this next. And, uh, but we had a, we had a, a good, well, the dates are all up there for when everything was what. So uh, it's, it's fine, I think. A couple more questions. Um, you know, there are a lot of young people in the church, and a lot of people going to be going on for maybe another 225 years. Yeah, we have a lot of young people, and and our, our little children. Now you didn't see them today, but every Sunday we bring all those tiny little ones in from the uh, children's and bring them in there, and we have a little sermon for them, which I can feel them hitting me instead of the children, but. <laughs> Anyway, they, I don't know that they are learning much by what's been said, but they are learning to come into the church. And I think that means an awful lot, because they, they're just little old babies, really. And, uh, but it, it's them, it is teaching them to come to church. What's special about today? Oh, this 225th anniversary, I've invited everybody back to another one of them. <laughs> you reckon he'll be here? <laughs> oh dear. In spirit, anyway. Yeah, in the spirit. What, what do you so, What do you wish for the people of the next generation or two in this church? What do I wish for? I wish for them to hold on just about like they are. I don't mean I want them to go into seclusion and everything, but I'd like them to be on the same principle that they are now. I don't. I don't think it could be better much i guess it could be better too but i don't not much i want it to stay at the standards that it is and so <laughs> thank you very much and my 
neighbor right across the street. Neighbor. We'll be ready here in a second. Please, Mark. I'll leave you there. Good. You were starting to say they they didn't meet in a church at first. Where, where did they meet first? They met at Richard Barry's home under an oak tree. Back up a minute. When when was um, Hopewell Church begun and when was Hopewell Church started and, and by whom? Uh, John Thompson, from, uh, who was a son of church, was, came down and preached at uh, Rich, uh, Will, Richard Barry's home out in the yard under the... He gathered his friends around, neighboring friends, and they had the first meeting there. Okay, tell me about tell me about what you know about that that time in the church's life. That's about all I know. But uh, that was I heard my grandmother and all talk about it. It was in my great grandfather's. That's where he lived. And then later they moved down and built a log church here and worshipped until 18 and. 30, I believe, was when they built this church, or when the uh, bid was let out for it. And then what happened? Just go, you know, go through it gradually, just as you though we were teaching the history. You ought to have told me this so I could have read up. <laughs> well, I need someone, maybe uh, Reed can help me out in a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, then, if you can't, that's fine, I, I just... As much I as can't give can, you the no. uh, the dates, and then later the gallery and the vestibule were added. 1854, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't know whether that's the same uh, time or not. And the brick was made, but we couldn't Andy Hennison's. And I believe what couldn't Andy's footprints are in some of them up there. But anyway, you can see where the brick, the change of the brick is in the church. Uh, the sanctuary, the ceiling of the sanctuary was raised. You can see it up over the windows there, the different coloration of the brick and all. And the galleries were added at that time. The galleries being the upstairs? Yes. Now that was... They were called galleries then, they call it balcony.